Hi there guys and girls, uh, my name is JK. I'm here today to show you an alternative method to removing an old cast iron bathtub. Now these things are heavy as all heck. Um, I know the way most of the YouTubers talk is get in here with a sledgehammer and start swinging it and I don't know about you, but uh, I don't necessarily want to be in here with pieces of uh, broken metal flying around and shrapnel and the porcelain glaze will chip off and fly all over. So I've got a method I'm going to show you today that might be of use to you. Um, first thing is we took out, they had that uh, plastic stuff glued up to the walls that surround stuff. So we had to take it all down and this is all missing around here, the drywall. Um, you're going to have to take some of it out. These bathtubs are generally, you know, drywalled right up to here. This is all you need to take out, right over here, about that much, okay? This is, this is already missing, so I guess that's good. Uh, the plumbing, you don't necessarily have to take this out. We are, it's just, you know, it's old. It's got to go. Um, but it needs to be exposed all the way around. And then we're going to, you know, repair all the drywall. You have to do some work. And then we're going to do tile all around here. That's just the way we do things. Um, now we got to go downstairs. So that's the way you got to do around the edge. We go downstairs and we got to disconnect the drain. I'm going to show you how to do that down there. Um, that's really all it is. So we'll go uh, downstairs. This tub here we're not doing today, uh, but we're going to do this one later. I just wanted to show you this tub because this is why we replace these things to take them out of here. Um, you know, it's, it's about 50 years old or so. Um, usually they're dull, but as you can see this one right here, look at that. Somebody took one of these kits, I suppose, and tried to do the epoxy quick paint job and um, I don't see they ever work out that well. So either the finish is gone or someone paints them and they realize there's no hope for it. I don't know of any way we can refinish these things. Maybe somebody out there knows, but uh, it's unfortunate because they're good tubs, but uh, generally we just take them out of here. We're going to illustrate that today. Um, but that's just, I just want to let you know why we generally have to remove these things. It's the finish. They're solid tubs otherwise, but uh, anyhow, we're going to start this project. Okay, folks, this is underneath. We're lucky we have a basement with this one. This is the drain underneath. Uh, you can see it's got the S-trap. This is the old, uh, this is actually copper material here going into the iron. Um, I was able to just unloosen this, this thing here, so it's disconnected. See, here's a tub up there. It's just disconnected here. Now, if you have trouble with these things, because it's been here 70, 80 years, you can go ahead and just saws all it off is a good idea. Um, and then, you know, you're going to put the rubber as you connect the new one. You usually change this whole thing anyhow. I might save this thing, though. It looks pretty good shape, though. All right, now I'll go upstairs, and uh, I'll show you the method we're going to get rid of this. Now, as I said, safety first, guys and girls. we got to get our respirator on. It's going to be some dust kicked up. Definitely safety glasses. And it's gonna be a little loud, so the earplugs good idea too. So we'll just put this on. Turn things. There we go. Gotta get on right side up. There we go. And the safety glasses. Earplugs. Ow, that's what we use. Die grinder. Make sure you got a good one. We're just going to slice it one time, right down the middle. This will make the thing real easy. We're going to carry it out in two pieces. So I'm going to start on this thing and we'll get her going. Cut 
through here. It took about 20 minutes or so. By the way, this is uh, a metal cutting uh, wheel. They're real inexpensive. Four and a half inch. Um, it's an old die grinder. Get a good one, though, because this one here I've had 30 years and it served me well. So make sure you get a good one. Once again, that's a metal cutting wheel. Four and a half inch. Boy, it is. It took me about 20 minutes, but we got it cut right through, as you can see. All the way through, that's just one simple cut. That's all there is to it. And uh, like I said, now it's going to be easy, as you can see, to just lift right out. Well, it will, but I got to go get my assistant because this is a two person job. And uh, definitely take two people, keeping it safe, okay? We got to move out uh, the bathroom. And like I said, we find this method works good for us, um, rather than the big uh, sledgehammer. Um, I mean, give it a try. And um, we're going to take this out to the uh, local junkyard, the scrapyard, or find somebody who doesn't want it, and keep America green. Um, but nonetheless, so give us a thumbs up if you like this YouTube, and uh, if it was helpful for you at all, or leave your comments for us. Uh, other than that, Thanks a lot. Have a good day.